Tourism officials anticipate a positive outcome from the Tourism Readiness and Recovery Plan to welcome guests back to the Bahamas. Good evening, I'm Jiminita Swain. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping news tonight, officials at the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation fine-tuning every detail to ensure that tourists returning to our shores during the COVID-19 pandemic follow crucial protocols needed to mitigate any further spread of the virus. The minister responsible gave Antony Smith this update today. The relaunch of the country's prized tourism sector is officially underway as today marks the commencement of the Ministry of Tourism's phased approach to reopening the country's number one industry. But before welcoming in the masses via commercial airlines, officials are first testing the waters to private boaters, those arriving via private plane or yacht charters. It's something Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, considers as the best alternative. Um, we in the tourism the Ministry of Tourism uh, want to, in the safest possible way, uh, re-stimulate uh, demand for the destination, get our hotels back open and our people back to work. But we understand that um, conditions on the ground are very fluid. People are uh, uh, apprehensive about travel. And so we have to wait for uh, conditions to settle down. And while hotel establishments have not fully opened their doors under this first phase of the tourism readiness and recovery plan, hoteliers may now welcome back staff in preparation for commercial activity with restrictions on July 1. Boutique Hotel Orange Hill is readying its quarters. Hotel giant Atlantis has committed to reopening on July 7th. But notably absent from the conversation is Bahamar, a huge contributor to the tourism market, which has opted to remain closed until October. Well, obviously, um, they have done their market research and they have assessed that the demand will not be sufficient to make the opening of that hotel economically viable. So they decided to wait and to delay the opening until uh, market conditions improve. So I understand uh, what they're doing. Also making up a significant portion of the Bahamian tourism product is the cruise industry, a sector which has faced a tumultuous time rebounding due to its designation as a COVID-19 travel hotspot. When asked whether cruise lines are ready to make a return, this is what the tourism minister had to say. I think that's very much a work in progress, as of yet not quite settled. And so um, we'll, um, we'll, we'll wait and see how that, uh, that particular segment of our tourism sector will evolve based on um, the, the negotiations between the cruise line and the CDC and the other health officials in the United States um, to create a safe environment for them to restart their business. Anthony Smith, ZNS Network News.